Good morning, Fenlanders. Oh, evening. Your evening. I'm gonna start saying good evening. Meh. It's raining again. You know, I just uh, got geared up. Put the. I've even got the 170 out of the shed. No. Put the Terra, Terra Disc, the Delta on that. We've got a cultivator on there. Went and done a little bit of uh, fluffing up yesterday. Probably should have carried on all night. And then look to the right at which it's raining. Oh dear. Oh, Joseph. And Vernon K off. Hey, yeah, yeah. We are going somewhere. That is not my farm. We're going to somebody else's farm. Woohoo! Off we go. Come on, Basil, we're going on an adventure. Uh, Grumps has got one of the irrigation pumps out. We think we're going to have one of them self priming pumps put on it so it sucks and sucks uh, water up and, it's, and fills itself up. So every time you start the key, it, it's ready, you just open the tap. So I think we're going to have one of them put on by our local reputable irrigation firm. They still haven't come down and sponsored us yet. RST Irrigation. Uh, I've been out here and fluffed this Anna's, not my best choice of words, but Anna's hole out here is still flooded out. So I went out with a cultivator twice and then the, then the Delta. I've been over through it with the Delta. That was kind of a bit of a waste of time. We haven't had that much rain, it's just real wet rain with none of it, if that makes sense. It's real misty rain, but it's soaked everything. Yeah, sheep are still happy. Yeah, they're happy. So I went and uh, started pulling a field around ready to drill it this morning and uh, we have we have rain so while we've got rain Grumpster is gonna go uh, take the irrigation pump once he's changed the fuse on that there's a fuse that keeps blowing or now the fuse is fine sorry but the fuse holder itself is all worn out so uh, it's not really connecting too much so he's just gonna put a new fuse holder on um, on the pump set and then go and get rid of it up at RST so they can start work on it then he's going to get on and do some more link bars for the new um, Fenland Farming Adventures HQ. Yeah. Meh. Rain. God dang it. Why does it keep raining? I just, uh, what, every time I'm like, yeah, let's go drilling, it keeps raining. So we're talking about six mil of rain overnight tonight, or four mil of rain overnight tonight, which will just be a dick and uh, put me off again you know just my weather my weather app on my phone says uh, no rain no rain no rain and then we get rain so i just want a week of dry weather and i can get drilled up i'll get everything drilled up and done ah, doing my head in it really is just uh, becoming like proper pants i got like a few a couple of free bits of field drilled all over the place i've only really got like i haven't really got eight i've got a couple of fields drilled up finished Gotten about in the grand scheme of things, uh, of all of my, I don't know what have I got 17 fields a week or 18 fields a week, only about 20% of them are all finished. You know, uh, it's doing my head in. We are going on a little adventure to, this morning to Swatham. So, high six, any of you lot in Norfolk, <laughs> we're gonna go see what we bought. Uh, well, yeah, this is another mutt trailer. I don't want to give the game away, I don't know how nice it is, we'll go and find out. Uh, so, off the swap on we go. Hey, we. Hello, Fenlanders. Hey, girl, okay. I am out here on the 6170R with the Delta on the back. I'll show you. Da, 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 da. Totally nearly just took out a telegraph pole, which is not good. But yeah, did not take that into account when I was turning. But I didn't actually knock it out, I just made a little bit of a dent in it. Hopefully no one will notice, hopefully. Just when I was turning a minute ago, I totally was like going, oh yeah, let's turn really, really good, really tight on, on this uh, on this end, try and get my corners, my ends really good. Thinking I was really impressive. Yeah, nearly to lap took out a telegraph pole in the meantime, didn't I? But never mind, I didn't actually, it just kind of skimmed it a bit, but. Hopefully no one notices. It's all good. But yeah, we've just been grading this morning. It was really good. Uh, at one point, it was just me and Daniel. Where we've got the new system, we can do it just the two of us now. The Delta, this is something that I'm still a bit like, ooh, oh, because remember the last time when I was out on this, I like totally clogged it up. But Daniel said the ground is really hard underneath, it just so it just all needs breaking up. I'm not in the ground all the way, but 
only about halfway, no, maybe about three quarters of the way actually. Doing 10k. Yeah, loving life. Just keeping an eye on what's going on behind me, as always. It's a really nice day today. So yeah, everything's going okay for the moment. Don't know what Daniel's gone off to do. He didn't actually tell me what he was going off to do. He just said, quick, hurry, hurry, because I need to get stuff done while you're out here doing this and before I then have to go. And yeah, it's so nice today. Look at this. How stunning is this? I mean... It doesn't really get much better than that, does it? As an office goes. I just need like a little drinks machine and I'll be perfect. Fine, or a fridge or something. I actually can't believe I hit that wall. Like I just skimmed it, but I'm really annoyed at myself. I just didn't see it. It's Friday, thank goodness. It's Friday then. So what's everyone, uh, well you'll probably be watching this on Monday actually, you won't be watching this on Friday, but how was your weekend guys? Hope you had a good one. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to get up to, but I haven't got any plans at the moment, so yeah, probably just a chill one. If it's a nice day like this, over the week, if it's nice, then definitely get out and about, go do something, but we, um, we just did a live, we just answered a couple of questions and... I did comment on one of our videos, well, last week, that me and Daniel sometimes do argue. Obviously, brother and sister, we do fight sometimes. I try not to, because like I said, I don't like it. It's horrible. I hate arguing. And I actually think there's just nothing worse than when you're arguing. However, we do sometimes. It happens, obviously. Um, yeah, we do argue from time to time, mostly mostly when the communication is just rubbish between us or it's like major stressful yeah it, you know it happens but sometimes like I'm, I'm not saying that i'm a hothead but daniel can be quite a hothead dad especially and when everyone's got their own views and their own opinions and sometimes we don't agree with each other or he'll tell me to go do something and it's just like a really vague a vague thing that he's told me and I get it now because I'm getting more experience so I should just kind of almost go okay yeah like if he's told me to go out in the field and, and avoid a wet patch like I can see it's wet like I'm just getting better at like looking at the field and being like don't go on that bit because I'm gonna get stuck however it's I'm, I'm not like 100% and I, and I still don't want to get it wrong either so I'd rather more instructions than less but at the same time I know he wants to get on but yeah, the other day when uh, when it was really cold and he he told me to move the telehandler and I was just like, do you know what, you're just doing my head in. You are annoying me. But yeah, then we just like, you know, we just end up being like, you're right? And then that's like, we don't talk about it. <laughs> but sometimes we do, um, which, you know, I do think you should get things like, out in the air, but I did read some of your comments of like you guys arguing and what happens between you guys when you have family feuds on the farm. They make me feel a bit better. I haven't thrown a rotten potato at him yet, but you know, there's still time. I'm, I mean, I could do. It's, it's tempting sometimes, but it is, it is also really rewarding working with family as well. Like you get like lots of nice times together. But yeah, sometimes, yeah just want to kill him. I'm sure he probably feels the same way about me to be honest. He's getting a bit annoyed at myself because where I'm turning and I've taken the discs out too quickly or put them in too soon while I'm turning, I'm then getting like a little, a little corner, like a little U turn, and having to go over it. Just getting a bit annoyed at myself. However, it's okay. If that's if that's the worst thing that I've done, that that's not too bad really, is it? It's so nice out. Honestly, it's like the best place to be 
when it's a nice day. Who needs to go to the beach, eh? Who needs to go to the beach?
Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. What? It's a handwritten, it's a handwritten parcel that they signed for and everything, so... Oh, yeah. alright, cool. I don't know what it is. Afternoon, Fernandez. Sorry, I didn't really do much more filming yesterday. I kind of felt a bit crap yesterday, if I'm honest. Um, had a little bit of a sore throat, so I uh, went all the way over to Beeston in the mighty 6190R um, to go and get my pig unit's new trailer for me to use for muck. So, um, yeah, happy. He's happy with his trailer, he's got a nice little um, Easter Bee trailer which is not really modern is it, but better than the one he had with uh, holes in the floor, so uh, now we're going to try and get the 6190 on, uh, I've got my little springtime cultivator out which is a perfect tool for um, perfect tool for um, getting stuff to dry out I've got to stop saying um you not forgive me if I keep saying um, don't you? So yeah, just had Yarmouth Steel here. Uh, they've delivered us a load more, more stuff. Which is happening. We are just going to go and spend half an hour or so just getting the Anna's hole all sorted out. And uh, she's got a surprise in the house from a a tube fan, which is um, pretty awesome, so I'll let her do some filming on that. But remember, if anybody else wants to send me gifts and not Anna, I'll take them all day long. Send them over, 6250, 4220, wrap it up with a little bow, send it over, we'll get on it. So I haven't got a weight on the front of this tractor, I am literally just going out here just to try and fluff this up a little bit. So yeah, the arm of steel being in. If I don't go drilling tomorrow, we are making steel framework for the new HQ. I got a load of steel bracing bars and stuff out yesterday and uh, they're all bent and twisted anyway. I know I'm leaving it to the last minute, but see how I get on without a uh, weight block on. Not very, I don't think. Literally just want to go over the surface and just fluff the top around. Go in a little bit more than that. In this springtime cultivator it really is a proper good tool when it comes to just drying stuff out a little bit. You know, it's um, proper claggy, wet, snotty crap out here in a minute still. Ugh. Yeah, so that's what we're up to. Anna's up on uh, another field just, um, just sorting that out. Uh, and I, I'll, I'm just going to have um, half an hour doing this in the wet bits, I know are wet. Just trying to get more of it to dry out for the kids tomorrow really. Doing my bit for the community. Uh, lap wings and stuff all look like they're trying to uh, find somewhere to nest now. Which is a bit irritating because I had about 3,000 starlings and uh, 150 lap wings out here the other day. So. If anyone moans about my drilling, I've left little plots for the flat wings to nest in. So yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna have a have a little rattle around in here and just try and fluff up what I dealt with and terror this the other day. I've been through with the with the cultivator a couple of times this week, and I've been through with the the delta as well, and it's still wet ass knotty stuff. So. Just out here now, just trying to just get a little bit further in, a little bit further in every time, and uh, and just keep moving it around. A weight block might be yeah, might have been useful, I think, maybe, but there's still puddles and stuff laying everywhere, and I just wanted to go tread lightly and see how we got on. So I'm not in the ground that far, but it will just fluff it up enough. We'll just fluff it up enough to just get it to dry out a bit more. I mean, it's shocking how wet it is out here. 
they talk of a dry-ish week. I think there's going to be some rain around, uh, maybe maybe middle of next week. So hopefully I'll be drilled up by then. I'm gonna I'm gonna have all weekend either making steel or drilling. So yeah, I've got Anna's on uh, Anna's Anna's on one field, and then I've got like a little three-acre field that I'll I'll go and get finished tonight. So when 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 the time comes for her to go home and go and get the kids and stuff, I'll uh, go and spot with her, and um, she can go and do that, and uh, I'll uh, I'll just make sure I get the uh, the job finished. So. And then the terror disc will be finished with, you know, so until we try and try and go to Hot Wall Fen. Hot Wall Fen, black stuff, the bottomless pit that is. Um, I don't know whether I'll get to that or not, really. Dad's on about putting it in the SFI scheme and stuff, but by the time you put it in an SFI scheme, you don't earn any money out of it, so what's the point? I mean, I'll get it drilled. I mean, I drilled, I drilled some uh, Skyfall on in in the middle of March, and somebody said they drilled um, drilled some Skyfall in the middle of May last year, and they still got like a ton or so at, an, an acre, and they didn't do nothing with it. So that is good going. My good friend Adam Palmer and his brother Luke. I was like, you drilled this in May. He was like, yeah, boy. <laughs> I think it was Skyfall. It, it just wouldn't tiller, would it? One, it wouldn't tiller, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't throw any heads off. You don't have a Bit of vandalization to the to the ear so right i'm gonna switch you off now i'm gonna put you on the back of the um i'm gonna put you on the back of the springtime so you can actually see what the conditions are like hopefully this will go all right you can have a little butchers and see how uh how my soil is it's not that forgiving when it is wet but i can still get on it There we go. Oh, you can see how stodgy it is. Go and have a look. It's starting to become okay here, but a, a lot of people, tell me what your soil's like, really. I mean, you lot all might think, oh, you're, you're doing something wrong, you know, but I'm not. If I don't move, if I don't move this around, it will never dry. Um, as where some people, sorry, you're a bit dirty. Some people can't go near theirs. If they go near it, you've ruined it for the rest of the year, but this just ain't like that. So, um, yeah, a couple of times through with that. So, I mean, I ain't gonna get, look at that. That's just um, making, making adult noises. I, I, gotta move, I gotta move my soil around. It's just how, how my soil is. If I don't move it, it don't dry. If I do move it, I make a bit of a mess, but then two days later I can go on it, you know, so, um, yeah, getting quite a few comments like, ah, oh, don't do that, just leave it alone, but um, it really isn't, it's not a case of that, for me, it's a case of getting out there and moving it and shifting. Let's get on with it. Now the good news is I haven't heard from Anna for a, at least an hour. Which is good. Normally I hear, oh, this is not right, that's not right, this is not going well. But I haven't heard from her, so hopefully she's getting on okay. Yeah, and I know it's going to annoy some of you, but the Verdestat will be out to play again. I might even get a four meter out and go and drill one of my fields, because it direct drilled in last year pretty good. Amazing how good it drilled in uh, with the four meter. Oh, so, yeah, just leaving a few little wheelings dotted around all over the place, but where there's still water laying around. I probably should have come out here when it was frozen really and uh, try and moved it around, but. All right, I'm gonna switch off now, guys, until I go and swap with Anna. Going a treat out here. 
don't know whether the camera can pick it up, but it's starting to uh, haze over just nice. Yeah, get me drilling done tomorrow, I think. Then I've just got this field, field next door, the other side of these houses. This one, two ends on another field, and uh, about 10 acres on another field. So, I'll just come round here to swap with Anna, and uh, she's going round and round the field with the looks of it. I hope you all had a fun weekend going to have a fun weekend it's very odd this film in malarkey um because it's friday now and you lot will all be heading into the weekend for some beer some activities and stuff so hope you've had fun cheers guys